Okay, here's an Antec P280. It's on the bench. Just to kind of look at it. It's a large case. It's got a matte black finish. Appears to be pretty high quality. Uh, it's the kind of case that wouldn't look too bad as a server in an office but you could also do some things to this pretty easily mod it up and make it into a massive gaming rig too well let's go ahead and open this thing up the best I can to capture the action. Let me get up there and make sure we're seeing it guys. You can always cut this part out if it's too boring. Right, but I definitely want to make sure the camera is still recording. That would be real nice. Okay, so let's have a look at it. Let's open it up. See how it opens. Got uh, wow, my hands are dusty just from the shop. That's why I didn't want to even touch this case until I had a chance to vacuum. It's still pretty dusty. Okay, got a black foam interior, three bays, and then you got a great big fan grill. Nice, removable, easy to get at. That's way cool. Love fine mesh fan grills, these make a lot of sense. Looks like it's got room for a bazillion hard drives, or you could take all that out and put liquid cooling in turn. That would be fun too, wouldn't it? Okay. Not entirely sure how this thing comes apart yet. It has the usual thumb screws. It's got a power switch up here. Kind of mushy. Doesn't click really, but it's okay. It's got a couple of black thumb screws right here. These are black plastic knobs with steel inserts. Okay. Let's take off one side panel. Okay. This is the back side. That panel will probably get hydro dipped to interesting color pretty soon, guys. Interesting pattern. So here's this nice, nice laid out motherboard tray. Look at how sensible. There's no bizarre plastic removable parts everywhere. There's not a bunch of crap. Just clean and neat and very professional looking. Nice rubber grommets. Very nice. Just hop up here again, make sure that we're still recording. This camera occasionally just stops randomly, so sorry about that guys. It might be a little jumpy around here. I'm getting dust on this thing. Every time I touch it, I get dust on it and it's very difficult to remove. It's only clean one time. I should probably have gloves on to touch this thing. <coughs> Alright, let's spin it around. Let's take the other side off. You can get dust all over it just from touching it. It's going to be a real challenge getting this shelf clean enough to do fine work again. Let's just turn it into a wood shop again. Thin layer of dust on everything. Alright, so here's another big side panel. You can see how that, that could have a window in it if you were into that sort of thing. Uh, what's on the back of it? I just felt something. Feels like Formica. This feels like uh, Formica that's been zapped down. Interesting. That's what it feels like. Like a laminate, solid surface laminate. Uh, similar to Formica. Okay. What have we got inside? Huge amount of space. Just beautiful. Wonderful. Very clean and tidy layout. Let me bring the camera down and show you guys up close and personal. Oops. 
so when I get too close with this camera things get blurry so I can't really zoom in on it like I'd like guys so I'm just going to just move around you can see you have a whole mess of hard drive base for those of us that love hard drives I'm, I'm a hard drive fanatic this is really handy nice little tray that comes out with little isolators nice soft squishy like gummy bears very nice white silicone easy to remove and replace great place to put some water cooling if you didn't want a bunch of hard drives it's got the usual quick release type drive things it's not a problem there's also screw holes which is handy because when you're putting in something like a reservoir little clips may not do it one fan there two fans here that's plenty of fans honestly if you want a quiet case three fans is excellent nice easy to remove fine mesh vent really like that nice looks like a nice quality fan thumb screws throughout more little grommets for water cooling if you want to go external nice big motherboard tray area definitely big enough for uh, you know the largest ATX things with all the gizmos sticking out of them plenty of room for enormous graphics cards you could put the biggest graphics cards on the market in there you could put a Titan in there I reckon <clears throat> yep and the area I'm gonna be focusing on is right in here okay there's a couple of tabs on either side that I'm going to need to either bend down or remove now in the past when I've bent these it ends up deforming the face and making it ugly it's actually easier for me to reach in there with my fine multi-tool and slice those off and then lightly file them to get rid of the burr and then you can touch them up with a sharpie and it almost looks like nothing happened so that's like the one thing that's got to happen right away to the case going to be taking off the whole front panel which in usual Antec form is a toolless it looks like I hope no I see a screw no perhaps toolless I don't know see you just never know I don't want to break anything I'll do a little more investigation on that and I'll get back to you on it um, seriously thinking about what I want to do to this case before I send it off to DAS mode once I'm done with the reservoir so it's a mule right now to be used for the reservoir so I can't take it apart but once I get done with the reservoir the plan will be to uh, every silver rivet you see there I'm going to be drilling all of those out I'm going to be taking it all apart just like I was going to have it powder coated now the beauty of this finish being a nice matte finish like this is I think that that is ready right there for hydro printing I don't even think I'm gonna to need to paint this or anything just clean it up real good give it a little scuff and uh, the film should stick to it I'll do a test part and I'll find out but I may get lucky there may not have to do any painting to the case uh, the, the idea that uh, Daz and I came up with right now is uh, to do this in red cobra snakeskin he'll do a red and black theme on it the red cobra Antec P280 so I'm gonna work on dipping everything I want to dip everything so when you open it up it's also gorgeous so we'll just see now I don't know maybe black inside and a snakeskin on the outside would be hot so that's one thing that's very difficult to do with powder coating see for instance if you wanted to powder coat a panel or something then the inside of the panel gets uh, coated the same color and so there you are or if you have a fancy schmancy case like this that has a liner on the panel you can't powder coat that because it has to get up to temperature in an oven to flow out the powder into paint and it'll destroy anything that's plastic or anything that's glued on that isn't high temperature material just destroy it 
And the beauty of this is, is I can mask off the whole inside of this and I can hydro dip just the outside of this. And the, the inside can be completely stock and the outside can be completely wild. Or I could go and do the inside in a pattern, you know. I don't know how much effort I want to put into this. I do want to learn uh, everything I can about dipping complicated parts. So these are, these will definitely uh, create some challenges. All of this stuff, all those convolutions, all these grids, all this mesh, everything, to just dip this whole part and have it all conform perfectly and then have to clean out all of those, you know what I mean? Those all have to be cleaned out and perfect and then the whole thing gets some clear sprayed on it. Uh, you know, plastic parts like this cannot be powder coated, but they can be dipped. This part can be completely taken apart and I can dip all of these parts if I wanted to. I could dip them in a totally different color. I could dip them in any film pattern that's out there. I could put flames on it, you know. I could do accents where it's one thing one place and one thing another, you know. You could have what looks like carbon fiber all around the front, then carbon fiber on this. And then the rest could be natural fire, or it could be camo, or it could be water droplets, or anything that you can imagine, really. So it's a nice case, and I'm going to try not to molest it too much, keep it pristine. But see things like this, like this foam, obviously, and this plastic panel cannot be powder coated. You could try and take that metal looking plate, which is probably just plastic, take this. No, it's metal. It's a metal insert that's stuck on there with tape. You could try and gently pry that off and have that powder coated and put it back on. I'll tell you what, it would be the biggest pain in the ass ever in creation. But I could mask off this whole thing with tape. I could hydro print just the metal and leave the rest black. Or I could hydro print just the, this and leave the metal the way it is, or do the two of them two different prints. There's a lot of options. That's why I like the hydro printing. It's uh, it's not going to affect temperature sensitive materials like powder coat did. You know, you can do the plastic bays. You can make everything match, or you can contrast things. So it'll be a real interesting mule for doing some uh, hydro printing. They call it dipping, and uh, give that a shot. So neat case. So my next thing is to get in here and uh, work on this. I'm going to try and take the whole case apart and then I'm going to protect it all with tape so that I don't beat the hell out of it so that I can move it around and do things to it. And then I'm going to uh, trim off these little tabs on each side right there and there so I can put the dual bay in there. And then I'm going to uh, leave it alone for a little while until I get all my dipping materials together and I get my compressor repaired so I can blast parts as required. <clears throat> and I want to check out how the film sticks to this material. Just take a piece of this and just dip it and see if it actually sticks to it. And if it does, then I'm winning. Alright guys, RW here with the PC case on the bench. And when I get a little further into the reservoir project, I will let you all see some of that but I've got some planning to do and a uh, little client consultation to do and then uh, once I've got everything dialed in I will show you some uh, acrylic magic